Right then, so this morning we woke up, well, in the UK, we woke up to the news that Ryan Garcia has failed his drug tests uh, for the Devin Haney fight. Uh, he, failed the, he failed one the day before the fight against Devin Haney and also after the fight against Devin Haney when he was tested both times. Uh, failed two drug tests. It's a shame. It, it's a real shame because if I'm being honest with you, I was really enjoying seeing that L on Devin Haney's record, but it possibly looks like it's going to be awarded as a no contest. But in this video, I'm going to go through both sides of the story. I'm going to be looking at uh, Osterine and Ryan Garcia's um, tweet about this one and obviously past tests before the fight and all that. But... There's a few things about this uh, performance-enhancing drug, Osterine, that do stand out to me. And there are possible reasons to why Ryan Garcia took this performance-enhancing drug. Anyway, let's get on with it. First of all, we're going to be looking at what uh, Osterine is. So here we go. Right. Osterine um, is a uh, embolic agent that has been on WADA's ban list since 2008, and its use can result in some serious consequences for athletes. So, yeah, Ryan Garcia, that is the... It's, it is a banned substance. I see loads of people trying to stand up for Garcia and all that, saying, nah, it's not actually... A, uh, I, I don't know. It, some people are being weird with the situation and stuff, and a massively glazing Garcia. Like, you know, I like Garcia, uh, to be fair. I do like Garcia, but... You know, you've got to be unbiased when it comes to these situations. Like, you know, imagine if it was Devin Haney who, who was in this situation, beat Garcia, dropped him three times, for example. If he was in this situation, he'd be getting so much stick for it. Um, so, yeah, there we go. It is, it's been, it's been banned since 2008 in boxing. Uh, and it is something that Amir Khan also tested positive for going into um, the Kel his Kell Brook fight back in February 2022. So, you know, yeah, people have been caught using it before. We then go to, uh, what does it do? So, here we go. Enhancing athletic performance. And then, here is something which stands out to me. Aiding in involunt uh, involuntary, uh, I can't spell, um, involuntary, uh, involuntary uh, weight loss due to illness. Uh, okay, we got to remember here, uh, Ryan Garcia missed weight by three pound, by three point two pounds going into that Devin, uh, going into his Devin Haney fight. He missed weight. Uh, and it, yeah, look, it looked like throughout the build up, he was having trouble making weight. So Ryan Garcia, like, it could make sense why he took this drug to, to try and lose weight for the fight to make weight. So here, it, I don't know, this, I feel like as soon as I saw this, it's like, I don't know, I'm having, you know, it's like, it's hard to believe that he kind of hasn't done it, to be fair. Looking at this here. This is the main thing which stands out to why Ryan Garcia took it. And it stands out due to him even due to him missing weight before the fight. That's the thing. So I feel like, you know, more people see this, you know, it's a hard explanation to, to get around. Alien weight loss due to illness. Like, he, I don't think he was ill before the fight, but, you know, it, it helps weight loss. So that is a big sign, in my opinion. It's a big sign. And, yes, again, to people saying, no, it's not an, 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 a performance enhancing drug. It's a different kind. Uh, I'm seeing. It is. It says right here, enhancing athletic performance. But, yeah, helping weight loss. Garcia miss weight. Uh, possibly, you know, he's doing this to try and make weight. So, you know, it's this is a big standout. It's a big, big, big standout there. But, 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 we then go to this. How long does Osterine take to kick in properly? This is when people uh, start to feel the most effects. It's on week two that uh, most people start feeling the benefits of Osterine. Uh, and then it says week six to seven, 
Uh, it's when the testosterone all stuff starts to fully kick in. So going into this fight, th this performance enhancing drug that Ryan Garcia used did not, it, it most likely did not fully kick in because it he tested positive for it. The test that he took 24 hours before the fight uh, was on. And then we'll get to something else in a minute uh, with Ryan Garcia's other drug test before the fight. So like, yeah, this, that's, that's interesting though. That is interesting. But still though, even though this is the case, and people were probably like, oh, it wouldn't have kicked in anyway. Ryan Garcia allegedly still took a performance enhancing drug no matter what. That is illegal. Even if it hadn't, even if it hadn't kicked in, he still took a performance enhancing drug, which is illegal. So yeah, uh that's that's a big thing. But it, it from the looks of things, took it 24 hours before to try and make weight, which is probably true. Probably took it 24, 48 hours before before the fight. Um to well to try and make weight, or yeah, possibly one or two days before the, the weigh-in to try and make weight. Because as it said, it helps weight loss and Ryan Garcia missed weight. So, you know, that's the thing. Um but yeah, probably wouldn't have fully kicked in because we then go to this. You go to Ryan Garcia's ex, and then it all says here about Ryan Garcia's um, um, drug test all testing negative uh, previously before the fight. So <coughs> yeah, if he did take it, it would have had to been quite recent. But he might have died because he knew he wasn't able to make weight and the weight cut wasn't going his way. That's the thing. But yeah, quite recently before the fight, uh, 24th of Feb, 26th of Feb, 15th of March, 8th of March, uh, and 4th of March. I think they're the dates anyway. Um, Because um, it's in the American way. Um, Yeah, these are all of Ryan Garcia's tests going into the fight. Um, yeah, so it must have had to, you know, if he did do it, it must have had to be because he knew he wasn't going to be making the weight. So that's probably why he would have taken it. And it adds up to that as well, because he missed weight. That's the thing. I don't think it has to do with anything of Ryan Garcia's, all of his antics in the build up to it. I feel like he, he you know, he could have taken it because, yeah, he was, you know, he didn't make weight. He was trying to make weight and couldn't. So that's why he could have taken that. Ryan Garcia also put out a video saying and all that, that um, he, he doesn't know where to get steroids or anything like that. I think that's bullshit. I think, you know, a lot of boxers have connections. Let's be real. A lot of them have connections with that kind of stuff. We then quickly go and look at Ryan Garcia's other tweet. I don't know why I clicked off it anyway. But yeah, we go back. This is what he's saying here. Second part of, of the Matrix attack, like Andrew Tate to myself, uh, they make false claims and try and ban me from the sport of boxing or put me in jail. Crazy. Um, and what's he put here? I don't know. Uh, oh, yeah. And then, yeah, he's saying about... Um, this Conte guy having a good relationship basically with uh with Devin Haney, who yeah, uh I, I've heard a few things about that. Like, who knows? Who knows? I don't know. Look, we're gonna have to wait and see. Garcia's having his uh uh B he's gonna probably be getting a B sample. We'll have to see more from that of what's gonna happen. But yeah, this is the information we got as of now, and from what I've read up on. And with the whole weight loss thing, it's not looking too good. And I feel like that's something that quite a few people aren't talking about uh, with, you know, what it does for weight loss and Ryan Garcia miss weight for the fight. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. Okay, I'll speak to you in a bit. Thanks for watching. Peace out. But yeah, anyway, I hope Garcia is, I hope he'll be given the all clear. I hope he hasn't done it, but I don't know.